Hi, Pastor Jeff here. Today I'd like to talk to you about mission statements. Perhaps your workplace or business has a mission statement. Uh, mission statements are good because they help focus us on one thing or maybe a, a variety of things grouped around one area rather than trying to do everything, which is really helpful. Sometimes we get drawn into trying to do everything, don't we? Our congregation here at St. Paul, we have a mission statement. It is to build community in Christ and serve Christ in community. It's about the work that we're called to do together to build community. Whether we're together here in the building or whether we're out serving in the community at large or whether we're together or even apart, it's all about bringing people together. And it's about being reminded that Christ is at the center of our lives wherever we are. I think that's really, really helpful as we plan and go about our ministry here. I have a personal mission statement as well. I developed it when I was starting to put my blog together several years ago. I was really concerned with uh, changes in society and uh, the new digital age and the church and being faithful and what that might mean for us. And I had a lot of questions. I still do. So this is my mission statement I came up with. Of course, you can always be tweaked and you can always revisit it. But this is, this is mine. Reforming the church, one conversation at a time. It helps me a lot because it means it's not all on me. I need you to help. And it's not about me either or even us. It is about the church. It's about being the body of Christ in the world. There's a story in Luke's gospel where Jesus tells us his mission statement, what he's here to do. It seems like a long list and it might feel like it's everything, but I do think it is focused because it's focused on, on freedom and releasing people from all of the burdens that they have in their lives, whatever they are, physical, spiritual, or emotional. So here's the story. He comes to the house of worship and he reads from the Bible. He pulls out Isaiah and he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. That's his mission. And what you'll see in the rest of Luke is Jesus bringing that out. What does it look like to bring good news to the poor and release to the captives and sight to the blind and to let the oppressed go free and proclaim a year of jubilee? Well, read the rest of Luke and find out. And we're gonna do that together. We are invited into that same mission. Notice how other-oriented it is. It's not about sales, it's not about marketing, it's not about getting people in. It's all about giving release and freedom in our life of Christ and how we might share it. So let's think about that. What might your mission statement be as you go about your life and your faith, thinking about Jesus being active in the world? I'll see you soon. Peace.